going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Copart for another walk around. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list. With a 2015 Ford Escape with 146,000 miles on the odometer and looks like she's got a nice set of matching tires already. Very nice looking tires. Not a bad looking little SUV. Little, I don't know, is it an SUV? What, what would you call this? I don't know, I guess, I guess it's an SUV. It's an EcoBoost four wheel drive. The reason I wanted to show this one is uh, it had some interesting damage to the back. And I thought, surely there's got to be more to the story than this. We'll come back to this in a minute. Just take it all in. Take it all in. This beautiful purple Ford Escape. Now, I'm noticing right now this passenger side front wheels barely turned towards the driver's side. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the driver's side front wheel is all the way out. So... We've got some suspension damage down there somewhere, probably on the passenger side, since that is the side that took the brunt of the accident. Everything back here looks fine. A little bit of suspension damage really isn't that big of a deal. This is all plastic, guys. This is just a plastic bumper. All of this can be replaced, no big deal. I don't see any damage to the hatch or anything. I don't see any damage to the quarter panel. Now, I do see some damage to the rear end. This is bent that way. So I think we've got some suspension damage back here and up there as well. Let's take a quick peek under it. See what it looks like back here. Frame rail is straight. Frame extension looks straight. It's got a solid rear axle. Well, it's independent. It's independent. Okay, yeah. Not too bad. Where's the damage though? It's got to be... The lower control arm has got to be tweaked. I'm certain of it. I can't see it, but I guarantee you this lower control arm is tweaked. It looks like the actual frame rail down there, not a frame, like a subframe that holds everything. It looks like it is still okay. So I'd say the damage back here is minimal. Um, should be relatively easy to fix. Nothing too scary. Suspension damage up here, probably a broken tie rod. Looks like everything is still lined up with center pretty good. So I'd bet probably just a tie rod is broken. This is, this is really not that bad, guys, from what I can see. Now, once you get into it, <laughs> you know, you might find more damage than you were really. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, here's the real damage. Oh, my. Oh my, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Was somebody camping in here? This is all wood chips. There's wood chips everywhere. Oh my goodness, wow. This is one of the dirtiest vehicles I've ever seen. Uh, this is bad. And it smells, oh my God. Oh my God. What? How does someone do this? Oh my goodness. Uh, th this is, this is insane. Who could even stand to sit in something like this, let alone spend any real time in it or drive it? This I didn't see. I didn't see the interior pictures. I was scrolling through. I saw the damage and I was like, okay, that's not that bad. It didn't look that bad. I had to come out here and look at it. But honestly, I am not afraid of the mechanical suspension damage. But this... Did somebody blow up here? What, like, what? This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. It smells, it smells absolutely awful. This is bad, guys. This is bad. Uh, from, the, from the pictures of the outside, I was like, yeah, this is, a, this is not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um, and I still don't think that it is. I don't feel like it is. The big deal is inside. It's that bad. It is that bad. Oh wow. The uh, okay, yeah. There's there's more damage than what we know 
for sure because the elbow that runs so what is this an eco boost it's a little turbo so it's got a little turbo charger somewhere probably on the back side over there the charge pipe over here has been knocked off of the throttle body there's your throttle body right there and the uh, the charge pipe is disconnected so she went for a ride she went for a ride let's see if i can get you guys under here huh i don't see I don't see much damage under here, honestly. I, I really don't. It doesn't look that bad. This is this is a bizarre one, guys. I can tell you this. Uh, normally, we go through and start them up and you know check the windows and the brakes and the steering and air conditioning and all that good stuff. Uh, I, I don't think I would take this car if somebody gave it to me. I don't, well, yeah, I would. It'd be great for content trying to clean it up. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> uh-uh. No, I don't want this. I don't want this. This 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 is uh this is just nasty. This is just nasty. I cannot put into words what that interior smells like. It is so bad. It is so bad. I don't I don't want to spend any time on this one. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to move on move move on. Mosey on to the next one next on my list a 2012 chevy 2012 chevy silverado 1500 this is a good looking truck guys why is this one here 173,000 miles she's got a little miles on her she's got the big bed too she's got the long bed but she's got the small cab yeah kind of sucks but you know some people prefer that personally i like the big cab and the short bed i like to be able to haul all my people and and my dog and everything else around and i like a shorter bed because i really don't haul that much in the bed anyway she's got a little damage to the bedside over here not too bad especially considering it's an older truck and it's higher mileage oh i see the damage oh man golly i couldn't do it i wouldn't drive this i just wouldn't drive this guys that dent right there in that tailgate uh, that's a deal breaker for me. I'm absolutely kidding. Are you kidding me? <laughs> just replace the tailgate, man. It's just replace the tailgate. The bumper got a scuff or two on it. Who cares? You know, it's an old truck. It's a it's a work truck. You got a seven pin under here somewhere. Oh, they took it. The seven pin used to used to fit right there. They uh, they took it. So okay. And that's for the jack. All right, does the tailgate still work? It, are you kidding me? It still works. It still works. God, that bed is huge. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what they're wanting for this thing. I kind of, I kind of like it. I kind of do. It's got good tires, really good tires all the way around. Good tread. The body looks good. I wonder how bad the interior is. The mileage isn't that bad. What's it got? A five three? Probably got a five three in her. We'll take a peek here. Let's check this one out. It's got the vinyl interior. It's the work truck. That's what this is. It's the work truck. You got the vinyl seats, vinyl floor. It actually smells good. Normally these work trucks are road hard and put away wet. They're just tore up. This one is not, not at all. It's even already got the trailer brakes installed. Okay. Uh-oh, GM Wiggle. There you go. <laughs> you gotta know these things, man. You gotta know these things. Got you a trailer brake right there. Really nice. Got you some running boards. You got the manual windows, manual locks. She has no options at all. Maybe because it's a work truck. Maybe it's got a 6.0. It doesn't. It's got a 5.3. I already know it's got a 5.3. If it's got a 6.0, we're bidding on it. That's all. Oh, uh... Hello. Hi. Is your daddy home? Uh, <laughs> hello, little kid. Is your is your dad home? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, there goes my hopes and dreams. That's a four, uh, what is it, a four three? Where's the, where's that? That's a little six cylinder. Yeah, four, four point three liter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments going, that's not nice. Shouldn't make fun. The 4.3 is a capable motor. The 4.3 is a great motor. The 4.3 is the best motor that GM has ever produced in the history of 
General Motors and well you know listen the motor's a decent motor it is it's it's a, it's a decent motor I'm not, I'm not gonna lie about that it's basically a 5.3 or back in the day we called them a 5.7 with two of the cylinders chopped off so yeah it's a good motor the the the, the technology behind it is great it's a reliable engine the problem is it's a 4.3 Okay. It's not a 5.3, it's not a 5.7, it's not a 6.0, it's not a 6.2. It's a 4.3 liter V6. The towing capacity, payload, it, it all of that goes out the window. It almost is like, why, why do you need this truck? You could have gone and gotten, you know, a Honda Ridgeline or something. I don't know. I don't know. Especially with the long bed? Really? What are you? Wow. Okay, now, now that the rant is over... I don't think I'm interested in it. We'll go ahead and fire it up, though. We will. I mean, it is a, it, it, it's a good work truck for somebody. I don't know. I don't know for who. It's a, it's a weird combination with that long bed, and then the V6. I totally was not expecting that. I was expecting to be like, hey, we're about to throw a bit on this, guys. Uh, I have hauled with these before. Some of you OGs may remember back in the day, I bought a V6 Chevy Silverado pickup truck from IAA. I did. Some of you, some of you remember. And I used it to haul parts. We replaced the bed. We replaced a door. Uh, we did a lot of work to that truck, and I lost a lot of money on it. So things that, in that aspect, things haven't changed at all. Um, I used it and I hauled cars with it and it did it did all right it did decent but like really hauling cars especially the distances I'm going now no no I couldn't do that especially on one that's already got almost 200,000 miles on it but damn she runs good she runs good you got the tilt wheel I'll bet even the air conditioning works I'll bet you money this is trailer brake is active it's on stability track works it's a usable truck definitely a usable truck you got your extra seat in the middle there if you want to put a small purse in there you could brakes are nice and hard goes right into reverse and right into drive. I mean, listen, steering is nice. This, and it's got cruise control. For a work truck, that's really nice too. Work trucks are generally bare bones, so working air conditioning, cruise control, this is a good truck for someone, so I almost feel bad that I was talking trash about it a minute ago. This really is a good truck. It, it, it's a good truck, it's just, for me, I don't know what I could really use it for. I mean, in a pinch, I could haul with it for sure. For sure. In a pinch, I could throw a hitch on there. It's too bad it doesn't have a receiver, but um, I could throw a hitch on there, put a seven pin on it, and in a pinch, if I needed, I could, I could definitely use this to haul. But with that said, I have a new Hummer coming tomorrow, and for me, a V6 Chevy long bed with a short cab or whatever you call that. I don't know what kind of cab you call it. Single cab. That just doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Windshield is completely disintegrated. So you're going to need a windshield. I mean, it's gone down here. It's cracked all up there. Cracked all up there as well. So you're going to need to put a windshield in. Alternator's charging great. And I, I can't talk trash about the way it runs. She runs like a top. Listen to that. Someone recently put new struts or shocks on the front. Those are brand new. Doesn't look like it leaks a drop of anything. And another benefit of the six cylinder is so much room for activities in here. Look, look at this. This is so easy to work on. So easy to work. You can climb in here and sit down and change your spark plugs. You know what I mean? It's a decent truck, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing to the truck, not to you. I'm apologizing to the truck. It seems like she's a damn good truck. 170 some thousand miles. No check engine lights, no airbag lights, no warning lights of any kind. Cold AC. 
sit here purring like a kitten looking at me like man let's go to work that's what it is i feel like she's looking at me saying randy let's go to work you ready to work do you want to work because if you do if you really want to work i could put you to work damn it i don't want this truck i gotta stop i do i gotta i gotta stop it's still got the books good night this is this is ridiculous what a great old truck it's got a fresh oil change the oil change isn't due until 178,000 miles it's only got 173 you got fresh oil fresh filter like literally good tires this thing is ready let's jump in and let's go to work i wonder how much it is well guys this may be worth bidding on because this is listed at $1,900 pure sale. Do you know how much trucks are going for today? I don't care if it is a 4.3 V6. Trucks are still hot. Now here's the thing. It's listed as a non-runner. Do you see that E right there on the screen? It's a little hard to see, but right there on your screen there is an E. That's enhanced. That means it doesn't run. It's listed as a non-runner. She runs. Um, oh man, I don't know, guys, I have no use for this, but at $1,900, you're probably talking about $2,500 out the door. You think it's worth more than that? I mean, you guys know me, I'm going to end up sending it right back to auction anyway. Uh, it's going to go right back to auction. I, I really don't have any use for this. I really don't. By the time I give it a bath and replace the windshield, you know, what, 2,800, 27, 2,800 dollars into this thing? What am I realistically gonna be able to sell it for at the auction? You know, so that's, that's my biggest problem, is sending them back to the auction is just shooting myself in the foot when it comes to uh, making any type of money selling the cars. Now, thankfully, I don't have to make money selling cars. I write it off as a business expense. It's a loss, basically. The the loss I take on the cars takes away from the income I make from YouTube. So it works out great, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with making money, and I would definitely like to make more of it, especially on the end of selling these cars. That's something I may need to work on in the future. Maybe I need to find another retailer to uh, sell these for me. I don't know. I really don't want to go back to doing that again. And that last time, I, I'm just... I'm not really wanting to, to go down that road again. She runs, guys. No lights on the dash, nothing. Look at that. Damn. You think she'll start back up on her own? Uh-oh, GM wiggle. Nope, dead as a doornail. You got two keys. I wonder if the other key is the same way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, guys, I don't need it. I do kind of want it, but I don't need it, so I'm going to walk away from it. Last on my list, you guys know how much I love these cars. So when I find one, I got to take a look at it. 2015 Audi A7 Premium or Premier, 61,000 miles on the odometer. Why is it here? It must be completely smashed on the other side, right? I don't think it is, guys. Let's take a quick look at it. No, it's not. And it's a run and drive. The tires look decent. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that definitely doesn't look normal. There's something here that just looks looks off to me. This wheel and tire are into the fender back there. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it did any real damage back here. Nothing crazy. A little bit of a dent there. Not that big of a deal. So, a little bit of suspension damage up front, I'm guessing. Why don't I see if I can slide you guys in here? Maybe you can look at the damage for me and tell me if you see anything that looks out of the ordinary. You see anything? Maybe a bent control arm? A broken control arm? I don't know. Broken ball joint? Hard to say, I can't see. So at this point, you guys know more about the car 
than I do. She's a slick one, guys. I like this. I like this a lot. It's sitting at eight grand right now. And I know eight grand is a lot of money, but these cars go for quite a bit, guys. These are not cheap cars. They're not. They hold their value very, very well. She smells good on the inside. She looks good in and out. It's got power, too. The window went down on its own and back up. Got one key, not two. That's okay. Very nice. Clicker works. Oh, yeah. Yep. What's going on here? Uh-oh. That's broken. <laughs> okay, well couple cup holders right there you got your little number pad right here for your radio I guess what are you beeping at turn off engine before leaving car thank you I'm not leaving the dadgum car can we thank you there we go all right let's turn on air conditioning I love the infotainment centers in these I think they're so cool so cool what kind of lights do we have on the dash here? Do we see any? No. Nothing. Okay. Very impressive. An Audi that doesn't have any warning lights on the dash. Feels like maybe a, maybe a motor mount issue. She's a little rough. Not too bad. Not in a way that's, that's super concerning or anything. Just... Something to be aware of. Probably gonna need motor mounts sometime in the near future. Feels nice in here. Important window works. Brakes, nice and solid. Steering. Okay, let's not do that again. That's right, it's in the fender. <laughs> Apparently the tie rod's not broken. Let's pop the hood. See what's going on under there. All right. A little bit of suspension damage, no big deal. There's that supercharged three liter. Taken away, man. Sounds like a daggum sewing machine. Listen to that. Listen to her purr. She sounds healthy. What do you guys think? He's a slick one. I guarantee it. You get this thing cleaned up. Give it a bath. Oh, man. She's going to shine. She's going to shine. Ah, oh, I want it. I don't need it, but I want it. Why did I just spend seven grand on a Ford Focus ST when I could have had one of these for about the same damn price? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Got the sunroof, very nice. This thing right here is super aggravating that it's all, <laughs> yeah, that, that would have to be figured out for sure. Aside from that though, man, nice ice cold air conditioning. I'm obviously not gonna move it because of the suspension. We got your reverse camera there, it works. Right into gear, right into drive, no issue parking brake is on and it works you can turn it on and off it functions properly turn off ignition before leaving car thank you i will why is it beeping are you serious there's got to be a way to code that out that is awful that is awful guys i like her i do i like her a lot do i need it no should I get rid of some of my other cars first? Yes. Yes, I absolutely should. Am I going to? I don't know. Am I going to bid on this? <sighs> it's hard to say, guys. I, I truthfully don't know. I'm so torn right now. <laughs> part of me wants to, and part of me doesn't. Ugh, I just love it. I love it. If we could get the thing on the trailer and get it home without causing any damage to this fender. Man, you know what I would do? What I would do is I would get under it 
with a ratchet strap and I would pull this wheel forward and tie it up with a ratchet strap to something up there to keep it out of this fender any more than it already is. And then you should be able to hopefully maneuver it onto the trailer, get it off the trailer and uh, into a shop where you can work on it. We'll, we'll check the video footage and see what kind of damage we got going on under there. I can see an impact point on the wheel right there. She took a pretty gnarly impact right there. So, you know, I'm going to bet that it's either a bent lower control arm or a completely shattered ball joint. I'd probably put my money on a shattered ball joint. But honestly, that is nothing. That's nothing. Throw a control arm on this car and down the road you go. you got a low miles, beautiful, beautiful Audi A7 supercharge that you can go out and have a good time with, man. Great car, guys. Great price. That's it. We're done. So do me a favor, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. If you didn't, well, hit the thumbs down button and let me know, that's fine too. Drop your comments below. Don't hesitate to comment, guys. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon in the next one.